Good day and welcome back. Got a little unboxing here in a sort of large box. This is my Moride slide tray. I ordered a 42 by 90. Came from Missouri and we're out here in Oregon. And it took about a week and a half to get it. Um, paid just a little under 700 bucks from E Trailer. And thought it came packaged and shipped very nicely. They delivered it to the door, brought the uh, pallet jack with the truck unloaded it on the pallet, brought it into the garage for me. I just cut the banding off and figured I'd show what it looks like when I open this thing up. But yeah, it's boxed up real nice. It's got one corner here. It, had, it was tore up a little bit, but not bad. I don't think it damaged anything inside, but we'll find out. We'll check the inside. So far, so good. They do package it nice start from in the corners. This is a 42 by 90. Slides out 60% and it will slide out both ends of the, the cargo area that I have on the trailer. It's going into a our new Montana and I'll show how it goes together and how I try to organize this thing. I think I'm going to elevate it, raise it up off the deck We'll see what that's involved. I might use some four bys or get some aluminum tubing or something, but we'll try to raise it to get some storage underneath this thing. Did just cut the side of the cardboard box down and notice their hardware package. I just use a little bag, a little zip lock, and that zip lock is open. Found one of the washers laying here, so I'll do a little inventory, see how many parts of the hardware I'm missing. And probably have to get a hold of them and see if. If I am short, uh, have them send me some more. Came with the owner's manual, installation instructions. Big enough that you probably do want a couple people. We have a little scan code here that you can put on your phone. It says scan me for installation video. That's probably what I'll end up doing. And see if I can get this inside the, the trailer. So one thing I wanted to double check on this, just to make sure how far it slides out and whether or not it slides out the full, I think they call it 60% slide out on both ends or just on one end. I've seen it both ways online. Um, it does have that little yellow stop and it's got a little tab there. So I got the yellow tab on this side and there should be a yellow tab on this side. Yep, right there. So this is a 90 inch slide. So 60%, if you do the math, that should be 54 inches. From the closed position to the open position. And I'm right at 54 inches. this end and we'll double check make sure it pulls out that far going the other direction so I won't have to worry about what way the tray goes in so that little yellow tab hits that metal stop that's as far out as it's gonna go like 54 on this one so yeah it doesn't matter which way the tray goes in or I should say the frame we got a pretty large compartment on the trailer fairly wide wide enough for that 42 inch I've got like 48 inches on the narrow side over there I've got over five feet on this side so I'm still gonna have quite a bit of room on this side. I'll probably leave myself a little bit of room here. There again, I was looking to see if I could elevate it with some blocks, maybe have room for that two and a half inch thick table underneath the tray and some cords and whatnot on that far end down there. So I'll set the tray in there, get it uh, maybe elevated, see what I can do. Maybe I'd like to get a couple stacked totes 
on each section and just sort of play with it. I'm gonna go ahead and separate the tray from the frame. Uh, you should have a couple people do this. I don't have another person. So I'll take my time and try not to hurt myself or the tray, but I think it should come apart pretty decent. So the tray and the frame separate pretty easily. Slide it back out, lift it up off the, the frame, and just, I was able to pick the frame up and sort of set it out there by the trailer. Well, one thing I wanted to make dang sure when I put that thing in is uh, screwing through the floor deck. I don't want to puncture any of the holding tanks. And I decided to pull off, well, it's like a, a panel, and maybe an inspection panel for all the wiring and, and the, um, the water lines back here, the, the pump is back here, I found it. But what they had done is they got a the drop down here for the, the fifth wheel frame. And you've got an open girder almost like right here. And you're able to see the tops of the holding tanks. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a black water tank. And that's the gray water tank. So you can reach your hand in there and what was nice is I can feel the thickness of the plywood and it felt like 5 8 and this plywood right there the wafer board that they've got is actually 5 8 you can measure the thickness they got some 5 8 over there they even have three quarter inch plywood that they built the steps out of over there so I'm almost confident that this floor deck is 5 8 with the little whatever this vinyl coating on the, the surfaces. And then they've got an inch and a half, probably the same framing that they've used right here, supporting the plywood underneath it. So I've got two inches of, well, an inch and a half of space once I get through the, the floor deck before, before I would hit the top of the tank. So I'm feeling pretty good about getting it anchored without hitting anything. Well, not sure what happened, but I lost my footage that I had done on the install of the, the little slide. So I'll catch you up here on what I did, what I learned, and how easy it was, how hard it was. It, it was actually pretty, pretty dang easy to put in. Um, I ended up putting up little risers on it. Um, if I would have just anchored the frame itself to my deck, I wouldn't have cleared this lip. Um, I would have had to have jacked it up a quarter inch just to barely clear it. So I, I knew I wanted to raise it up because I wanted to get storage under that tray. So I went ahead and went up an inch and a half. Could have gone up more, but I also wanted to make sure I cleared the height here because I can actually double stack a couple totes on top of each other and they'll still clear this opening here. So yeah, basically just laid it out, took the, the tray off and had the frame separate. Laid the frame in here and sort of moved it around left and right. I centered it, you know, front to back, or I guess it'd be left to right. And then I gave myself about six inches on the side here because I figured I'd be using that for my camp chairs and little camp tables and whatnot. So I got six inches on this side and then on that side here, I was a little tight to that, uh, that wall there, but it still gave me plenty of room here for other items, so. But yeah, it was, it was pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, I used some inch and a half by inch and a half. Uh, I had maple, so I cut those eight inches long and then I used uh, the screws they supplied. I believe they are two and a half inch, 12 pan heads, put washers underneath them. Uh, wanted to make sure I wasn't going too far with the screws because those are two and a half. And obviously I've got an inch and a half board, got an eighth inch steel, I got a washer. Um, I did pull that panel out there just to verify the thickness of this floor. The floor was 5 8 plus another about a 16th for this vinyl covering. So the two and a half was fine. Um, you, they've got a framework under here that's an inch and a half tubing. So you've got plenty of room to, to get a screw in there, but I wouldn't go much more than two and a half if you're going up with an inch and a half block. But yeah, um, I went with six locations. One here, one there, a couple in the middle, and of course, the two on the other end. Um, drilled down through the pilot hole, gave me a smaller pilot hole into the floor, ran the screws in, screwed it down. I did do clear holes through the maple just to make the screws go through so I wasn't tapping into those. But it went in and screwed down really well. 
and it operates really slick. One other thing I want to let you know about was just the clearance on it. You know, with, with nothing on it, I'm about oh, three and three quarters. And when you pull this tray out, they've got a support here that you got to be aware of, that guy right there. So when you measure, you want to make sure you clear that because right there I was an inch and a quarter clearing my metal frame. So an inch and a half gives me plenty of room. But yeah, just be aware of that little, oh, this U-channel support because you lose about five-eighths of an inch of your clearance for that. And you might be wondering what this little cord or wire is. Um, I decided to, to run a, a wire all the way to the other end and I got a little loop on that end there so when I'm on either side I can pull and open it from uh, whatever side I'm standing on so you can either use the lever to pull it out this way or you can have it closed and I got a little loop here you just pull that and that pulls the lever on the other end and lets you open it to get to all the stuff that you might have underneath the tray here. So it, it worked out pretty good. Uh, one thing I, one problem I've had is this little bump stop for stopping the trays and sometimes this loop will catch that little tab and it'll pull it off, but hasn't happened too many times. I just used a bunch of little stick on little clips. I'll do a little separate video of what the heck I did with all that and show you more in detail. So this is all the stuff I put in there. Oh, this is all the camp gear we pulled out of the motorhome. Consolidated a lot of stuff, really. Stuff I never used and didn't need, so we're down, I think, to the bare minimum. You know, just wash bucket. This tote here, I just carry a separate tote for all my water gear, hoses and uh, uh, pressure regulators, stuff like that. A couple sand chairs, camp tables, and a kindling bucket, ladder, carpet, for camp chairs, table. This is just miscellaneous tools that I throw in, hammers and extra RV parts, bike helmets, bike pump, a couple hoses, the good fresh water hose and a uh, black tank flush hose. Like I said, I got three totes, but I got six total if I needed them and I can actually double stack them and still fit in the, in the, the tote be able to open and close it. A uh, little propane camp stove, a garbage can, and a fold-up table, a little bag for the levelers for the tires on the, the fifth wheel. And that's about it. So I'll spend a couple minutes throwing them all in and show you what it looks like. So here's the tray with everything loaded in it. It's surprising how much junk you can get in these things. So I have the room here for my, my big carpet roll, and I think I got three camp chairs over on this side. I was able to get two more camp chairs, or no, one more camp chair, I should say. And then underneath, pull the release, make sure it doesn't hit that little tab. That guy right there, or it'll rip it off, but... Got my table, floor mat, splitting mall, little bow saw, got a little step ladder. And I was able to get my camp tables and little beach chairs. I just screwed a piece of Velcro to the sidewall and then looped it back. So those hold those four items nice and tight to the wall and keeps them out of the tray. So yeah, I'm real happy with it. Gave me a lot of room. Show you from the other side. totes, a more ride cord reel, a little tote for all my water stuff. There again, you pull on the little cord. And watch that it doesn't hit that tab, which it probably will, but it's easy to fix. And I have my water hoses under there, so it works real well. It gives me a lot more usable space because you always can use more space 
If you like it, let me know. See if you got a better idea for it. I'd like to hear it, like to see it. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for hanging out.